It seems that every year astronomers are discovering incredible things out in the vastness of space. It's become apparent that space exploration is going to be one of the top priorities for the next few centuries. Big companies are now investing big money into venturing out into space, and it could be the key into our species' survival. As the technology has progressed over the years, scientists have been able to explore space in much more detail than ever before. As a result of extensive research and continued hard work over the years, many new space discoveries have been made. Some of these discoveries have completely surprised scientists. However, some researchers have said that we shouldn't be surprised by this because space is so vast. Going back on the 19th of October 2017, astronomers and the scientific world are amazed when they notice an object travelling through our solar system. The object in question had come from another solar system and it was quickly given the name of Muamua. What stood out about this object though was that it seemingly appeared out of nowhere, which in turn caused many to ask questions. When researchers were able to lock onto the object, they could see it travelling around the sun and then shooting away again. However, after this it was not to return. Astronomers were able to record data on the object for a short period of time. After looking at the data, it turned out that Oumuamua was in our solar system for over a century. The reason Oumuamua wasn't spotted until recently is because it wasn't close enough to reflect enough light for astronomers to pick it up. Even when it did get close, it was still moving very fast and meant astronomers had very little time to observe it. Once the strange object flew around the sun, it was going further away meaning it was getting fainter and fainter. The astronomer's very last observations from Hubble were on the 2nd of January 2018, and on the 3rd of May it was then seen outside of Jupiter's orbit. According to some, a Muamua is expected to reach the Cooper Belt in around 2024. Since first being seen by astronomers, it's caused much speculation as to what the object actually is. They are currently studying all the data they have to come to a conclusion about the interstellar object. The first theory that was put forward was that it was an asteroid. The scientists looked at the size of the object which was 2,600 feet or 800 meters long, and around 260 feet or 80 meters wide. However, going back it was reported that astronomers stated the object was not moving as it should. They picked up on the fact that Oumuamua showed a really strong non-gravitational acceleration. This tells the researchers that its motion indicated that gravity was not the only thing dictating its path. Ultimately, it will be very difficult to find out more about Oumuamua as it's no longer in the solar system. Many people have put forward their theories, one of which is that this object is extraterrestrial in nature. However, recently new research carried out by Matthew Knight of the University of Maryland Department of Astronomy suggests that Oumuamua is in fact natural. Going on to say the following, We have never seen anything like a Muamua in our solar system. It's really a mystery still, but our preference is to stick with analogues we know, unless or until we find something unique. The alien spacecraft hypothesis is a fun idea, but our analysis suggests there is a whole host of natural phenomena that could explain it. Others are still sticking to the idea that an alien spacecraft visited our solar system saying that even researchers said that its motion indicated that gravity was not the only thing dictating its path. As of right now, a Muamua remains a mystery. Recently though, it's been announced that a second interstellar object has been captured by astronomers. It's been called Comet C 2019-Q4. It's also named after the astronomer that discovered it, a man named Genady Borisov. After other researchers were able to see the object, they noticed it was on a hyperbolic orbit. This is something that suggests it wants to get away from our solar system, and therefore means it had to enter our solar system at one point in time. As you can imagine, many people have asked why these interstellar objects have been entering our solar system. Why is this happening now? Or has this been happening for decades? And it's only been in the last few years that we've been able to pick up on them. Astronomers working at the Gemini Observatory in Hawaii were able to capture real images of this object. 
there's been a lot of speculation as to what this object is. Going back to when Oumuamua was first discovered, researchers suggested that it was a comet. However, this wasn't the case. As of today though, Oumuamua's planetary system of origin, the amount of time it's been floating around in space, and where it's heading to are completely unknown. As of right now though, Comet C 2019-Q4 doesn't have much mystery about it. This is when compared to Oumuamua. Researchers know this object is a comet, and this is because of the bright comet and tail it's giving off. As of right now, the comet is close to our sun but will soon be heading deep into space. Researchers have said that right now is a fascinating time for space. As our technology improves, we are discovering more and more objects. It's important that astronomers conduct further research on these objects when they're first picked up on. Detecting a celestial object early on is essential to understand what its behaviour is like. For example, back in 2018, we saw more than 91 near-miss hits of different asteroids of all sizes passing by our fragile blue planet. The scary thing is that out of 91 asteroids that passed by us, only 30 of these asteroids were seen coming prior to their passing, and only two of those were discovered one year ahead of the near-miss event. This means that for more than 89 of the asteroids near striking the Earth in 2018, only two of them could have been prevented with our current technology, showcasing just how threatening these large celestial bodies can be. Recently an asteroid by the name of 2019 OK made headlines around the world. This wasn't because of its size but rather because of its sudden appearance in our sky. We had no idea it was close to our planet until the day it passed by us. Again, this just shows how fragile we really are. Our best scientists and researchers had no idea this object was flying past us until the last minute, and at that point it could have been too late. This object is estimated to be 57 to 130 meters in diameter, or 187 to 426 feet. Interestingly, it's the closest an asteroid has come to planet Earth in 2019. It came within 62,000 miles or 100,000 kilometers of Earth. And although this doesn't sound close, when we're talking about distances in space, this is actually pretty close. Another object was first observed back on the 13th of December in 2012. The asteroid known as 2012 XO 134 quickly passed by us on the 18th of April of this year. But astronomers have said that it will most likely make a return trip in the coming years and this could see it colliding with our planet with ease. Fortunately for us, the size of the asteroid is only roughly 90 meters in length, and when calculating the velocity and angle of entry along with the general makeup of the rock, the asteroid should more than safely break up in the atmosphere before getting anywhere close to the ground. Despite this good news, NASA appears to be keeping a close eye on the asteroid as it's been catalogued more than 91 times since its first discovery back in 2012. Another event that's coming up is that of the Orionids Meteor Cluster. This will be visible through the month of October. The peak of these showers will last from the 21st of October to the 22nd of October, and will feature apparent objects known as 1P Halley. This will pass our planet at a velocity of 41 miles per second. Although this parent object will be far from our planet and is no way going to strike our planet for several millennia, it will have numerous smaller bodies to make up the peak of the shower during the month of October. Those that have the necessary equipment to view the object can track its trajectory using online resources to help them map out the ideal locations to view the comet. It's reported as being more than 8 miles in diameter making it one of the largest asteroids discussed in this video. Another object NASA have picked up on is that of the Comet Swift. Known as a comet with an orbital period of roughly 133 years, the Comet Swift will be passing by us with an incredible proximity to our planet with a size that's more than 8 miles in radius. This comet is absolutely massive, and if it's on a collision course for Earth it could cause a massive amount of damage unprecedented by past strikes during human history. Luckily for us, this comet makes the near-miss list, and won't be on a collision course for Earth for possibly hundreds of thousands of years to come. 
Until then, it will be the source of a wide number of meteor showers as it's broken up into pieces. As of today though, astronomers and researchers are keeping a close eye on these celestial objects, and are giving updates when they can. So what do you think of these incredible space discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries.